Hi, welcome to the part six of this video series. We are looking at some real exams questions for AWS Solution Architect Professional. This is the part six of this playlist. We would be covering questions linked with these topics. Do not forget to subscribe and like my videos. For previous questions, please refer parts one to five of this video series. Let's look at this question. This question is all about EC2 net utils. We need to say what is incorrect about these net utils. Let's jump into the options. We have four of them. The first one says it generates configuration files for DHCP. So this is the documentation for EC2 net utils. So we see this DH script one. This is an option. Hence, we would strike this out because this is true and we want answer which is false. The next one says standard if up. So there are provisions for if up and if down. So if up matches and hence B is wrong as well. Let's look at C. C says net utils detaches a primary network interface. It does not detach. This is wrong and hence this answer is correct because we want to choose what is incorrect. The last one says you use network interfaces when they are attached, detached, reattached. So the UDEV rules helps you with attached, detached or reattached to a running instance. Hence this would be the final answer. Let's look at the next question. You have an in-memory database which is sitting on top of EC2 fleets. So this is crucial in-memory database. If I have in-memory database put on EC2 instances, what will I choose here? I'll choose memory optimized, memory optimized. And hence B is wrong because it says to use compute optimized. D is wrong because it says to use compute optimized. Now we have to choose between A and and C. So what is the difference? One uses cluster placement group. The other uses partition placement group. If you see this question, there are various components. There is a central node. There are eight worker nodes and everything needs to be going in a package. If you want to package everything, it's always better to put cluster placement groups. This is my answer. Why not partition placement group? Because partition placement group there is a difference because the underlying hardwares are different. We do not want to put all of the central nodes and worker nodes on a different hardware. Because why? Because you want lowest possible network latency and partition placement group uses different hardware for partitioning. One partition on a different hardware, other partition on a different hardware. So if the hardware changes, it is difficult to maintain lowest possible latency. And hence, this would be my final answer. If you see this documentation on placement groups, there are three types, cluster, partition, and spread. Please pause this video here to read these descriptions carefully. Like I was mentioning, partition, what it does is it spreads the instances. It spreads your instances where you do not share the underlying hardware. But cluster, it packs the instances. It creates a package so that all of those components are intact working with each other and they are put together inside an availability zone. And this helps you achieve low latency network performance. This is exactly what we need, low latency network performance. Let's look at this question. This is all about if you want to use CloudWatch, what are the limitations? You're planning to use it. You want to understand the price structure and limits. So out of these options, we have to choose what are the limits. Let's see the documentation. If you see this documentation, it says 10 detail monitoring metrics. So you have 10 year and 10 years. So we would just clearly strike this out. B and D are wrong. Now there are 10 alarms here and there are 100 alarms here. You can pause this video here, read this section carefully. There are 10 alarm metrics. And hence A would be my answer because there are 10 alarm metrics. It also says 1 million API requests, which uh, is specifically RAM. So this 
first time trial gives you 1 million RAM events per account. Those are synonymous to 1 million API requests. And hence, this would be my answer. Please subscribe to this channel and click the like button. This brings us to the end of part six. Please refer this playlist for other questions. This channel has variety of playlists. Please click the playlist section. It will give you all of those contents for AWS, Azure, and GCP certifications. Please leverage this to the best potential. This channel has all real certification questions, but I would insist that you should focus on the concepts. This brings us to the end of part six. See you in the next part. Stay tuned.